Hey guys, Spam Leads here. Feels like I'm in Berlin, but I'm not. I'm actually just one city south. And welcome to San Mateo, which looks a lot wider, a lot bigger than Berlin Gay Shopping Center, but a lot more quiet as you can tell. I had one heck of a bumpy ride on the ECR getting over here. <laughs> so thank God it's a clear day nonetheless. Yesterday it was purely raining, purely cloudy, really depressing, but Thank God I managed to change today. I haven't done much research as what to San Mateo is. It feels like a normal city, really. Hey, sir, you got $20? Wish I had. <laughs> no, I have a feeling where I'm walking right now, which is, I think, the downtown area ish. I think downtown actually is yonder that way. Um, they pretty much did. I don't know if they did a Berlin game or Berlin game did a San Mateo and decided to convert their downtown as a proper shopping center. Order shops, restaurants, and whatnot. But that shop's really nice. Very tree, very woody. A lot more. Feels a lot more original here. I feel like the one in Berlin game, technically that one actually opened in 2011. Maybe 2011. This feels like definitely been here for like a while. I'd say it's not really that bad. It's really cool. It still kind of doesn't feel like I moved into Bay Area. But yeah. Some sort of booming. Um, so, with any other city in the peninsula, it all started with the um, Ohlone tribe being here, and then the Spanish took over quite beautifully during the, six, the 16th century, like the 1500s, and then made it their thing, and then eventually became a uh, rancher's paradise, basically. Because again, between here and from San, South San Francisco down all the way into through the peninsula, it's mainly flat land. So it's really great land for grazing cattle. I don't know so much about like planting stuff, but definitely for grazing cattle was a ranch. Eventually, um, it became a major stagecoaching stop, just like many of the cities that I visited already. And it eventually became a major railway stop, which we'll be visiting here at the end of the video when I'm getting home. It eventually developed itself as an incorporated town and then eventually a city which I'm at right now <laughs> that's really cool because upon looking at the map I realized they have their own Japanese garden which is really interesting well, let's see if it's paid attention or not because man it looks pretty and it's already spring well you didn't a day or two it's gonna be spring so it'll be really cool to visit this let's see can I just go in all willy-nilly or is it closed oh yo this actually looks really cool oh look at that yo there's really really cherry blossoms this is pretty San Mateo Japanese Garden. Basically, they have the pull of San Francisco, I guess, and have their own Japanese garden. But it's free, I think. I pay. I can go in. Oh, the dude. <laughs> Yo, that's really cool. Yo, <laughs> this is cool. Can I donate for the cause? This is actually really amazing. I'll take some pictures before I like miss out, even though there's a building behind it. Well, this is nice. Such a 
unexpected thing. Uh -huh. So they have a gazebo over there. Obviously, mine's building that's like right there. Mine's building is around here. But this is a really nice Japanese garden, you. things. Little shrine. I wonder if they're like... Hey, this looks kind of familiar to like every town or whatnot. I should say. I'm gonna try not to go too far in. Oh, Ah, so this was donated as... Basically, I guess... Yep. Leonaka, Japan is San Mateo's sister city. That's cool. And to see that they managed to develop something like this, this is amazing. It's not busy, busy. As it is a Sunday. Oh man. man. This is amazing. I had a good time where they're about to close, so I guess I'm gonna try my best. I'll go around the back way. I'll just go around the back way. But apparently it's closing because it's already 4.06 and it closed at 4, so. We're gonna do a little speed walk around here, but this is really cool. It was actually de designed by, um, forgot the name, putting the name down below, all the way from Japan. Again, to commemorate the sister city um, sort of tradition they got between San Mateo and Toyonaka, Japan, which is really awesome. Oh yeah, looks really cool. So we're just gonna do a, a fast speed walk around here before they really close on me. That would suck. Oh, but man, if I knew, I would have came here a lot earlier. Oh, there's koi. I love koi fish. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to just stay like right there because there's a lot of people on the bridge. Kind of see it. Look at that. So, yeah, this is really cool. We're gonna see if I can do a one fast spin. Oh, there's a pagoda over here. You may have to stop. Oh, this is where it ends. <laughs> I thought there was a pathway. Okay, so, but really, I kind of wish I got here about 20 minutes earlier, man. If I'd known, I'd been here. <laughs> but from the looks of it, it is free admission to get around here. It's pretty accessible. Going through the bridge, it's pretty popular. <laughs> I guess mainly for the locals, but if you are within the area, turtle, turtle, turtle. Yo, I got the fishies. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Oh. Yeah, what a nice addition to see around here. Ooh. That was quite amazing to just walk around there. Um, but definitely, if you're within San Mateo for the week or the weekend, usually in the middays, right before 4 p.m., take a visit, it's free. I'll maybe find a donation box here somewhere, but that was quite the addition. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything to record for this thing. It's like a real, again, a mini Japanese garden, Japanese tea garden. So, props to you, San Mateo, and your sister city of Toyonaka. But that was quite a visit. <laughs> Even if it was only 10 minutes. Um, we're from here. Let's see what else I can find around the city. We have like a very historic hotel there. Probably just happened since three. I don't know what it is though. I have a feeling it could be a, pre a protected building. We have a really nice downtown park here too. I would say. Just for being in downtown and having this nice green space. It's pretty cool. 
definitely would give a visit. So yeah, I gotta say, San Mateo, you have a really good downtown. You have the mixture of shops, restaurants, and maybe a little bit of entertainment while making it look very pretty, very local. Um, it's definitely a destination, I'd say. Like, I'm honestly surprised that it isn't. But it is. And more people should visit. <laughs> And for those who want to, definitely give it a visit. Yeah, I'm going to be heading towards the San Mateo Caltrain station here in a bit. I want to go back to the market now that their line is gone. But you can get here also on the ECR. Just get off at 2nd or 4th Ave. Or get off at San Mateo Caltrain. <laughs> but then after visiting Japanese gardens. Time to visit a Japanese supermarket. I, from the looks of it, I thought it was going to get more boring. Again, I'm strafing off from El Camino Real because... El Camino South of San Mateo is going to be very, very boring. Very, very, um, what's the word? <clears throat> um, suburban. Basically, El Camino Real at that point is just a regular boulevard. But going through the city itself, going, you know, straying away from El Camino Real, just a few blocks. You know, next to El Camino, not El Camino, next to the Caltrain line, um, it's just been nice to um, stray away from that and visit all the other stuff around here. Visit, you know, the downtown core for many of these cities. Some of them have like a nice quiet place. Some of them have a awesome blessing like this. It's really a nice change of pace compared to a big city like San Francisco or San Jose. And I can't wait to see more of them as we go down the line. As we see more of the other cities. I think Hillsdale, I don't know so much about. But something like... I forgot the other cities between Hillsdale and Redwood City. Um, it's going to be something like this. Hopefully. <laughs> Actually, between here and Palo Alto, I'd say it's going to be like this. And then we'll see as we get further down. If I get on the 22 or 522. Connecting El Camino Real all the way to San Jose. We'll see what else we could find along there. Before we hit basically the big, the other big city. Down south. Not really down south, but just a wee bit down south. Um, but for now, you know, just still explore around here and see what else San Mateo has to offer. See you guys in the next clip. Not gonna lie, even just around here it feels busy even though it looks a little bit quiet but it's definitely busy around here. It really does have a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops, even a movie theater right next to the, to the San Mateo train station. So. That's really cool. I realized I have to go down this way so you can see the little station house of San Mateo because it's on the southbound side going towards San Jose and it's on the northbound side going towards San Francisco. I'm not gonna lie, I would like to visit here again. Just like Burlingame, I would like to visit here again. There's a lot of places to see, there's a lot of places to try food out and whatnot. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Where is it going? Oh, a little snack shop. Yeah, this is definitely a place to visit. Kind of looks seedy back here, but, you know, not too bad nonetheless. Um, yeah, we're, we are closely approaching. Oh, I got tired. <laughs> we're closely approaching. San Mateo Station. Okay, I legitimately have 10 minutes left. Well, I'm already here. Apparently, it's a brewery or a rotisserie. No, oh, it's a grills. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do San Mateo Station. Right now, I have to be on the other side. I'm hoping there's quicker. 
helicopters over there. But yeah, again, just like many other cities down the line, this is um, by history a place where many. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this, um, but it basically was a stage coaching stop and it became one big train stop. And so you have this, I don't know if it's original, it is restored, it probably is original, but unfortunately it's not a museum, but it's actually a restaurant. Which is pretty cool, oh my god, I'm getting so tired. But yeah, looks like I do have to go down this way. <laughs> So we're gonna go down. We'll see how long it'll take me. I think there's clipper readers. Yeah, there's clipper readers over there. Okay. But we'll see on the other side. So yeah, I guess this really marks the end. Being here at San Mateo, and here's the little, the little, the little station house they got. Again, it was mainly a rancher's farm, rancher's farm. Then eventually became a stage coaching stop, and then became a major rail stop. Just like here. <laughs> so, you know, I get the vibes of Burlingame just a little bit bigger because there's like taller buildings around here. There's a lot of offices here. It's another major city. <laughs> Medium sized city, I'd say. Um, but, you know, definitely worth a visit. It's about an hour away from San Francisco, an hour away from San Jose. Worth a shot to visit if you have the time. And plus, it's close to the airport, which. Unfortunately, this time I don't have a plane to record, even though I've been seeing a lot of planes um, landing today, so. Um, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed the Japanese gardens and going around downtown. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I think Hillsdale will be the next spot we'll be going to. And I don't remember what other cities from there, but I know it's going to be Hillsdale, San Carlos, I think, then... Redwood City, Menlo Park, Palo Alto, and then uh, Sunnyside, I think, or Sunnydale? Sunnydale? Sunny, I forgot what I don't know. Uh, Santa Clara, and like all those heading all the way to San Jose. Technically, I wanted to stop at Palo Alto because that's where the ECR Sand Trans route stops at. But you know what? Since the days are getting longer, since we're getting closer to December, why don't we just go all the way down to San Jose? And this may take up all the way going, uh, going down to San Jose, may go all the way into like July or August but hey at least we still got daylight at like 5 or 9 p.m. so in any case I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are see you guys at the next stop down the line this is Fan Waits see ya